In the very pleasant good evening, everyone, and we are at Greenwood High School, H.B. Stewart Arena. Lady Bulldogs of Greenwood take on the Alma Lady Airedales coming up here in a few minutes. This will be the first of our double hitter tonight. Second game will feature the boys as Alma takes on Greenwood. The Airedales trying to go 5-0, and which would match their start from 2011 and 12. So a big game for the boys against B.J. Ross. You know they'll be ready. And first up, the Lady Airedales take on the Greenwood team. Clay Reeves, the legendary Greenwood coach, state champions all over the place, conference championships, and 800 victories, 800 wins. Last week, he got that 800th win against Salem Springs. But they lost a game on Saturday, or last Friday night. They played uh, up at Mountain Home, and they lost. So Greenwood comes in tonight in the 5A West play with a record of 3-1, and one, tied with Russellville 3-1. and one. Harrison's 2-1 and one in there, and Mountain Home right now is on top at 4-0. and zero. The Lady Airedale's still in there. They're 1-3 and three and 7-13 and on the year for Coach Chanley Bottoms in her first year as the team's head coach. So still some work to do for the Lady Airedales. They'll try to get something done tonight as we get ready to meet the starting lineups. Greenwood team coached by uh, Clay Reeves. And again, he's been there for a long time. And they try to get a W, get back on track in the 5A West. Dexter, let's see, that's the wrong roster. There it is. Clay Reeves' his team ready to get the lineups introduced here in just a couple minutes. First off, we're going to pause, it looks like, for the playing of the national anthem. So let's, uh, let's do that. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your patience. This evening's game is being played under the authority rules and regulations of the Arkansas Activities Association. Interscholastic activities are an important extension of the classroom. As such, both the association and district ask the support of each one here in promoting good sportsmanship through courteous and responsible behavior. And welcome to H.B. Stewart Arena for tonight's game between the visiting Alma Lady Airedales and your Greenwood Lady Bulldogs. At this time, we invite you to stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, and then the National Anthem. And now, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, our national anthem by the Greenwood High School Band.
Sorry, my First with visitors from Alma. A senior, number three, McKinley McCart. This is her first year as the head coach, McKinley McCart. Back in the lineup, she was back there on Friday night. Demaya Parker, junior, point guard. Chloe Gregory is getting her second straight start. Got Jaden Gramlick, Jordan Gramlick. And now, Bulldog fans. And Lady Airedale's getting ready to face a really good team from Greenwood. Their top players, probably one of the top players in the conference, if not the state, that's Anna Trusty. That's Joe's sister. Anna is a four year starter for Greenwood. So here we go, the Lady Airedales and the Lady Bulldogs about to get this thing cranked up here from HB Stewart Arena. This is good memories, a lot of good memories from back in the day. State championship, the state tournament here back in 05, Alma girls had a very nice run in this arena. And the boys did as well. They've had a few state tournaments here in this arena. H.B. Stewart, one of the earlier, nicer, newer arenas back in the 1990s. They got this thing going. Greg Grant, former Alma football and basketball standout. Of course, his dad, John, the only Alma coach to coach both the boys and the girls. Greg was the girls coach here back in the 1990s for a long time at the state tournament. And here we go. Ready to get this thing going, and the tip is going to be won by Greenwood. That's Anna Trusty. She's number three, and they get the ball slapped out of bounds. It's going to stay with Greenwood. Bulldogs put up a baseline shot, block, get the rebound put up. No good. Rebounded by the way to Airedales, and the rebound taken down by McCart. Greenwood runs at 1-3-1. They do it very well. Alma was able to break the press, but they get a break, almost turned it over. Gregory couldn't hang on to it, but the ball goes out of bounds off of Greenwood, and the Lady Airedales will keep it. On the baseline, Demaya Parker inbounds it. Inbounds comes out to Gramlick, trying to hang on to it. Going to be a jump ball, but it's going to stay with Alma. Jump ball, position Alma. On this very first series of the game. They better hurry, get the inbounds pass, and here it goes all the way out, stolen away by Anna Trusty. It's a three on nothing. Trusty's going to lay it up and in, missed it. Missed the layup, Piercy the rebound, and kicks it back outside. They dribble it around. Here's a three point shot. It's on the way, it's good. So Greenwood takes the lead. Three nothing. Sexton's first uh, basket. Carly Sexton's first bucket here tonight. Parker breaks it across midcourt. Get a pass to Gramlick, but kick it outside. Gregory goes down low to Jaden. Had it for a minute, but could not hang on to it. It's going to be taken away by the Lady Bulldogs. Here comes Greenwood on the run. It's 3 0 Lady Bulldogs here in the early moments of this ballgame. Brooklyn Woolsey thinking about it. Cross court pass. And here's a shot, no good. No, they kick it around. Here is uh, Trusty for three, it's good. Anna Trusty's got her first bucket. It's six nothing Greenwood here in the first few minutes of this game. We are about a minute and a half in. And the Bulldogs get a steal. Here's a Woolsey for three, it's good. Greenwood nine nothing and a timeout, Chan Lee Bottom's 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here with you. Alma's going to be back home on Friday night. I know, I know, I know. They've been on the road forever, but finally this coming Friday night, Mountain Home will be home. Going to be a fun day at the high school. Got a pep rally that morning. That'll be a lot of fun. 
And the big game will be Friday night, the Lady Airedales and the Lady Bombers. And then the boys have the uh, nightcap. Alma Mountain Home, not a lot of history. They've only played 10 times, but they played the last few years. And this probably will be the last time they'll play for a while. They may not be, I don't believe they're in the conference moving ahead next year, so this will be it for Mountain Home and Alma. And of course, the last game of the year on the 23rd of February at the steal. Trusty has it, gonna be a jump ball. It's gonna stay with Greenwood. And last Friday night on February 23rd, Allen makes the trip up to Mountain Hall. Inbounds comes to Trusty. He's got it top of the circle. Gets it outside. Here is, uh, well, they're thinking about it, moving it around. That's Sexton. Back outside it goes. Trusty on the baseline. Trusty behind the back puts up a wild shot. No good. Greenwood the rebound to kick it outside. And here is a baseline shot that's on the way. It's no good. And the rebound, Alma. That's taken down by Gramwick. A lot of contact in there. Goodness gracious. And going to be a jump ball. This time, it's going to go to Alma. Earl faces the Lady Airedales. Jason Harris, the lead official here tonight. One of the veterans. One of the good ones. Alma's had Jason a bunch. They had him in Russellville a few weeks ago as well. Pressure in the backcourt. Gregory gets it to Gramlich, and it's going to be a 10-second violation. So four turnovers already for Alma, and we are just about uh, two and a half minutes into this game. 537 left here in the first quarter. It's a 9-0 advantage for the Lady Bulldogs. Three-point shot deep for Greenwood's good. Isabella Smith from three land. That's a four threes for Greenwood. All their baskets by way of the three. Here's a strip and a steal. And Greenwood's coming back the other way. They get it across midcourt outside. And they kick it down low. It's going to be taken away by McCart. Here's Jordan Gramlick. Lost the handle of it. Picked up by Woolsey. Picked up by Trusty now. Trusty lays it up as fouled. And she'll shoot two. Two foul shots with 4.56 left here in the first quarter of play. Now McGreen would go back to the 1950s. They played some basketball. He skipped a couple of years randomly in the 2013-2014 cycle. Did not play for two years, but they played a bunch of basketball going back to the 60s and 50s, 70s. In this arena named for uh, the late, great H.B. Stewart. Longtime coach for the Greenwood Bulldogs. Pedro Sadler actually replaced him when he got out. Here's a turnover. Nope, it's going to stay with Alma. Ball tipped away and goes off of Woolsey's hands. And Alma has it 14-0 advantage for Greenwood. Speaking of salt of the earth, good people, Pedro Sadler. <laughs> Here's a steal for Greenwood, and this is going to be a layup. It's blocked, but we've got a foul called against Alma. That's on Demaya Parker, I believe. And for the Lady Airedales, that's going to be their third foul here in the first quarter of play, and two foul shots coming for Greenwood. 4.42 to play in the first quarter. First one's up and good. Second free throw is good again. So 16 to zip, Greenwood on top. Alma's trying to get it across midcourt. Ball tipped out of bounds. It's gonna stay with the Lady Airedales. Finally had some warmer temps, able to get in school today and pretty amazing when it's a three point shot from the cart. Bingo, Alma's got their first points. Pretty funny when it's 40 degrees and you feel like you can take a take your sweater off. Bulldogs kick it around. This is Woolsey for three. It's no good. And a rebound taken down by the way to Airedales. That's Gramlich. A lot of pressure in there. Gramlich gets it to uh, the uh, Kylie Poole back in the game. Kylie missed the game on Friday night. She was sick. She's back in there. 
Ellie Poole kicks it around. This is a three-point shot for McCart. Good. Back-to-back -back shots for McKinley. And Elmo's got back-to-back uh, -back threes to cut it down to 10, 16 to 6. Greenwood lost it. It's going to stay with Greenwood. McKinley McCart comes in everything right at six points a game. Already got those six points. Here's a little short dribbler, no good. The rebound, Greenwood, a shot is no good. Another rebound for Jordan Gramlich. Gets it to Demaya Parker across midcourt. 325 left here in the first quarter. Double team, Parker gets it over to McCart. Gramlich's thinking about it. And stolen away. Woolsey's going to lay it up and in for two. And a trusty for two. So trusty with that basket has already got eight points. Check that, 10 points, 18 to six. Greenwood on top. Elma in trouble. He lost it in a foul. Randomly is called against Greenwood. First foul on the Lady Bulldogs. 2.47 left here in the first quarter. 18 to 6, Greenwood leads it. Jenna Hockla going to check in for the Lady Bulldogs. Here's a reach in foul called against Greenwood. So back to back fouls on the Lady Bulldogs. Fouls are even at two apiece. I'll check that. 3 2. I almost got three team fouls. Two against Greenwood. Inbounds comes outside to Gramlick. Jordan's got it. Kicks it back out to Parker. And Parker over to McKinley McCart. And McCart had it to, knocked away. And Greenwood's got another steal. Here come the Lady Bulldogs across midcourt. They kick it inside, all kind of bodies flying. Three-point shots, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Airedales. And stolen away by Trusty. Trusty lays it up and down. So Greenwood up by 14. It's 20 to 6. Alma gets it across midcourt. Isabel Benson in the game for the Lady Airedales. And the ball is slapped out of bounds. Pretty nice crowd on hand. Greenwood's got their uh, the band this year tonight. They've got their cheerleaders. Alma's got their cheerleaders here this evening. Parker going to launch it long three. It's good. <laughs> Alma's got three three-point shots. All three of their field goals are threes. They trail it by 11, 20 to nine. And almost a steal and a nice defensive effort and a turnover. Good play from McKinley McCart. So the Lady Airedale's back on defense, trying to get it across midcourt. Parker does it and stepped out of bounds. Out of bounds. Greenwood basketball. So the Lady Airedales back on defense, down 11 points. Early six years, a three-point shot. It's going to be long and short, and a rebound for Emma. That's a contact, no foul. And the rebound taken down by the Lady Airedales. Here comes Demaya Parker trying to kick it outside to somebody and could not turn it over. Here comes Greenwood. That's nine turnovers here in the first quarter. 20 to nine, Greenwood by 11. Three-point shot is up, no good. Rebounded, and a mercy, a lot of contact. Wow. Okay, we got a foul call against Greenwood. That's on Anna Trusty. <laughs> Golly. Jordan Gramlich, pretty tough kid. She was knocked down. Initially, one ref called uh, just a turnover, and Jason Harris picked it up. He called the foul against Trusty, so Alma's got it back. Trailing about 11 points. Here's Parker. Across midcourt. Here's McCart going to launch a deep three. It's no good. And the rebound, Greenwood, and a foul. Got a push off against Greenwood, I believe. And that is going to be their fourth team foul. 
So the way the Airedales have it on the baseline, down 11 points here in the first quarter of play. Inbounds comes out. I'm not sure where it was going. It's stolen away, and a foul called against Alma. That's on Kylie Poole trying to get back on defense. It's going to be 14 fouls on the Lady Airedales, who trail it by 11 points here in the first quarter of play. Inbounds comes to Greenwood. Three-point shot is up. No good. And the rebound, Greenwood. Poole just could not corral it. Lady Bulldogs get the offensive board. Here's a pass down low on the block. They kick it outside. Good ball movement all the way around. Always well coached. Three-point shot for Greenwood's on its way. It's good. Three-point Three shot three. from Brooklyn Woolsey. And that'll make it a 23-9 advantage. Greenwood by 14. They almost got it across midcourt. McKinley McCart going to launch a three. It's no good. And the rebound, Bulldogs. Honkawa had the rebound. Here's a deep three at the buzzer. No good, and that'll do it. After one quarter of play, it's Greenwood 23 and Alma 9. Let's take timeout. aluminum was developed, the first Coca-Cola was sold, the Statue of Liberty was dedicated, and Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to, and maybe that's true, but for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust, that's my bank for all of Crawford County. Stewart Arena got the great Lewin Barclay for the Democrat Gazette here tonight. Taking some notes. Already talking about the state tournament. State tournament, 5A state tournament's going to be at Harding University. That'll be in Searcy. So that's going to be something to look forward to down the road. First things first, you got to win enough games to get there. And Tough and tight in that 5A West. Alma off to a 4-0 start, boys. But again, they still have 10 games to go. It's a tough, tough league. Van Buren, 4-0. Van Buren's on the road tonight at Salem Springs, trying to go to 5-0. And Alma trying to match that 5-0 start here at Greenwood. Alma's going to play four of their first five games on the road. Just kind of the way the schedule worked out. But, oh, the schedule gets a lot better starting on Friday night. Here's the ball taken away by the Lady Airedales. Alma finally back in the building Friday night. Mountain Home will be in town. Gregory gets a pass down low. Here's Gramlick. No good. Lost it. And a foul, of course, against Kylie Poole. A lot of contact underneath the basket. No foul called, but a little touch foul there. 7.30 left here in the first half. Greenwood leads it by 14 points. Three-point shots on the way. It's no good. And the rebound, Lady Airedales. And a foul called against Greenwood. And a reach-in foul. It's on Jenna Hakala. They all did good. And the Lady Airedales have it on the baseline. Now we're trying to get it in. Here we go. 7-10 left here in the first half. And the ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Airedales hang on to it. Inbounds comes, well, they almost threw it away, but Alma hangs on to it. Maya Parker gets it to Gramlick. Jaden had it over to Jordan. Here's a pass on the block, and Gregory up and in for two. Chloe's first basket tonight. Alma trails it 23 to 11, so the Lady Airedale's down by 12 points.
Here's a drive inside. Nice play and a nice move from Anna Trusty. That'll make it 25 to 11, down by, down by 14. They've kind of held the run. They were down 16 nothing. They've come back a little bit. But here's a turnover. Greenwood's got a shot inside the arc. It's no good, and the rebound down. Maya Parker's got it across midcourt. Lost the handle of it, and we got a whistle. <laughs> got a foul called on Brooklyn Woolsey. So the Lady Airedales have it on the base one. That's two team fouls here in the second quarter. Neither team shot the bonus in the first quarter. Both were right there. Here's a free throw shot, no good, from Jordan Gramlick. Greenwood's coming back the other way. Three-point shots on the way. It's good. Rattles in. Brooklyn Woolsey's got a three-point bucket. And a turnover against Alma. And the Lady Bulldogs have it back. 28 to 11, a 17-point game. And Gramlick will check out for the Lady Airedales. Briella Hughes checks in for the first time. Here's a three-point shot for Greenwood. It's good. That's Woolsey again. And Brooklyn Woolsey's got 12 points. And Greenwood on top in this game. Here's a steal. They get it right back. And a trusty drives in, puts up a little shot. No good. And the rebound goes back to the Lady Airedales. 31 to 11. Greenwood leads it by 20. Here with uh, 5.13 to play in the first half and pressure in the backcourt. Now they fall back on defense. Clay Reeves, a lot of coaching, did some coaching, um, won some championships at Greenland. Here's a shot for Alma, no good. And the rebound, Lady Airedales, and of course took over at Greenwood, and boy, they took off. They've been really good since he got here. Hughes has got it, kicks it outside. Here's Gregory for three, it's good. Chloe Gregory knocks down a three to make it 31 to 14. Here's Wolsey for three. It's no good. And the rebound over the back. No call. And a rebound. Uh, Weather well, scrapping for it. And Alma's got it. Let's see if they get a timeout. So we got a jump ball. It's going to be Alma basketball. So Briella Hughes down there. And Gregory fighting for it. Lady Airedales get it back. Four minutes and 30 seconds to play in the first half. 31 to 14, Greenwood on top. And McCart had it, lost it, and a jump ball. It's going to go back to the Lady Bulldogs. So Greenwood's got it back. 4.16 to play in that first half. Wolsey a senior, Trusty a senior, just outstanding basketball players. Here is Trusty, wide open, baseline drives it in for two. And Anna Trusty's got 13. So 25 points combined. Wolsey and Trusty have 25 of their 33. Here comes Gregory on the baseline, puts it up, no good. And a rebound, Trusty. And a foul called against Alma. That's the second team foul against the Lady Airedales here in this first half or second quarter. Really, Hughes will check out. Jordan Gramlick is back in for the Lady Airedales. 343 left here in the first quarter. Coming to you tonight from HB Stewart Arena, Alma in Greenwood. Airwaves Media. Here's a steal. Gregory's got it. Take it away by Jordan Gramlick. Jordan back to Gregory, up and in, nice play. Get the assist to Jordan and the basket to Gregory. Gregory's got herself seven points. Here's a little dipsy doodle inside, no good. Rebound by the Airedales. 33-16 advantage, Alma's got it back. Here is Gramlick down low to Benson. Benson could not hang on to it and the ball goes back over. 
That's a tough play and a tough pass. Jenna Hockla going to check back in for the Lady Bulldogs. Three-point shot for Trusty is no good, and it's tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay with Greenwood. 35, a new 35 on the shot clock. 2.52 left here in the first half. Here's a shot that's no good, and a rebound down by, and then take it away, and then stolen back by the way to Airedales. Here comes Parker all the way down, puts it up, and no good. And the rebound, Greenwood lost it. Alma gets it right back. Here's a shot up, looking for contact, nothing. And we got all kind of contact and a foul. That's a frustration foul against Demaya. You can't blame her. Alma's getting hammered at the other end of the court. Zero, nothing. Yeah, you really can't, he's, you can't blame her at all. 2.30 left here in the first half. It's 33-16, to 16, Greenwood on top. Shot just inside the arc is good. That's two-point shot for Greenwood. That's Sexton. Sexton, another senior. And a reach in or a kick ball. It's going to stay with the Lady Airedales. Thirty-five, sixteen advantage. Greenwood on top. Almost got it in the back court. That is Demaya Parker trying to get it across mid court. She does so, and then throws it away. It's going to go back to Greenwood. The ball goes off the foot of Jordan Gramlich, and Greenwood's got it right back. And a trustee drives in, lays it up and in. And a trustee's got 15. And the Lady Bulldogs extend that lead. And here's a foul called against Greenwood. That's the third team foul here in the first, uh, second quarter against Greenwood. And we got a timeout. So 30 second timeout. Once again, Friday night. Feel free to come out and support the Airedales. Now was back home to play the Mountain Home Bombers. That's the start of a three consecutive games at home. That'll be great. All big games, by the way. Almost got the uh, Bombers on Friday night. Van Buren a week from tonight. That'll be a big game. And then a week from Friday, Harrison, we start round two. In the 5A West, the Bombers make their way to Airedale Arena. So it's coming. A lot of home games coming up for uh, the Airedales. Coach Chan Lee Bottoms and Coach Dominic Lincoln. They almost got the ball out of bounds. They trail it 37-16 and pass is going to be Nearly stolen away. Greenwood hangs our Alma hangs on to it. Here's McCart for three. It's in and out, no good. Greenwood the rebound. And a foul called against Amaya Parker. I believe that's her third foul. We'll check the official score here. Foul's on number five, Amaya Parker. That's her third. Yep, that's her third foul. So Demaya. Now they had two players foul out against Greenbrier. So she'll check out. Probably pull back in. That game the other night just kind of got away from the Lady Airedales. Greenwood, or Greenbrier shot. 18 free throws in the fourth quarter. That tells you pretty much all you need to know. And they came back and won that game. Here's a drive inside, a lot of contact, nothing. And then a reach-in foul after a putback is good. 
And so Greenwood a chance for a three-point uh, play to go up. It's 39-16 with a minute 16 left here in the first half. And the foul shot's good. So the Lady Bulldogs lead it by 24. And here is a steal. That's at 1-3-1. They work it to perfection. Going to be a reach in and a jump ball. It goes back to Elmo. Gregory's got it across midcourt, and the ball is slapped away. Alma keeps it. Ramlick trying to go to Gregory, found her. Here's Gregory, drives up, puts it up, and we got a jump ball. No foul, jump ball. How do you like that? And Greenwood's got the uh, basketball going back the other way. 40 to 16. We're under about a half, about 40 seconds left here in the first quarter, first half play. Here's a three-point shot for Trusty, still in the game, no good. And the ball goes back over to the Lady Airedales. Greenwood by 24, they're gonna press. Mackenzie Thomas, senior, checks out. And a turnover. Greenwood gets it back. Shot clock is off. Clock is down to 25 seconds. Trusty is in there and hands it off to Smith. Smith back to Trusty here. It's a deep three for Greenwood. It's short and the rebound Alma. Lady Airedales have it. And a jump ball is called. Golly, a lot of contact in there. Wow. Twelve seconds left, and Alma's trying to get it across midcourt. And we got a turnover against Alma. It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Greenwood's got it. Three seconds left. Smith for three. It's no good. And halftime here at H.B. Stewart Arena. It's Greenwood 40, Alma 16. Let's take timeout. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs. On-site insurance filing and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair. Quality first, always. Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas, making your family's dreams come true. We are not a perfect church filled with perfect people who have their life all together. We struggle with our marriages, sometimes we are judgmental and at times hypocritical. So if you are not perfect like us, you'll fit in perfectly. First Baptist Church is a group of people who believe Jesus is the answer to what has gone wrong in our world and to what has gone wrong in our own lives. Church for us is community. Friends who belong together and people who love and serve the community of Alma are home. We would love for you to join us. We promise you'll fit in perfectly. Heritage Portraits has proudly provided photography services for the River Valley and surrounding areas for over 20 years, including school photography and yearbooks, youth sports leagues, corporate photography, studio sessions, and event photography. Have you been meaning to order your child's school photos? Walk-ins are welcome, and we offer on-site printing. We are located at 402 Webster Street in Van Buren. Contact us today. We're ready to photograph you. Hey, I'm Brent. I'm Dale, but you have to call me Dragon. Oh, 
Well, then you get to call me Nightwing. All right, Nightwing. Let's play a little game. On the count of three, I want you to say your favorite travel center. Don't even think about it. Just say it, all right? One, two, three. Workman! <gasps> What's your favorite deli item? Chicken strips! Do we become best friends? Yeah. All right. Let's go to Workman's. Workman's? Yeah! Now that we're finally here, what's your favorite homemade jelly or jam? Peach jam! <gasps> Me too! Yeah. Wow. Look at all the amazing honeys and jams and all these other goodies. Wow. Excuse me, ma'am. That looks delicious. Oh, oh burger, that's my burger. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Look at the wide variety of gifts. Wow. Oh, yeah. Workman's! Yeah! Spartan General Contractors is a construction company equipped with highly trained and experienced individuals ready to support you with your next construction project. Residential or commercial, Spartan has the resources needed to help you achieve your final goal. One of our main objectives at Spartan is to keep your project on time and within your budget. While the thoughts of your next construction job can seem complex and overwhelming, let Spartan General Contractors help alleviate that stress and make your next project become reality. Here at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, we do things differently. Because here, learning doesn't just happen on screens and in books, we learn through action. With degree plans that are on our terms, whether in class or online. And because UAEFS is the most affordable four-year campus in Arkansas, we can do it all without going into debt. So when we graduate, we don't just have a diploma, we have a resume that will launch our careers. Lumber One is a locally owned lumber yard located in Van Buren, Arkansas, down on Industrial Park Road. We've been in business since 2002, and our vision is to provide quality building materials to the professional builder and to the do-it-yourselfer at competitive prices. Lumber One offers a full line of lumber, unfinished and finished plywood, engineered wood, cedar products, and LP smart siding and trim, along with access to James Hardy siding and other pre-finished siding. We also carry roofing, insulation materials, drywall, and wood sidings like shiplap siding, cedar lap and gap, and car siding. Our full line door shop can handle all your door, window, and trim needs. We offer several different exterior door and glass options from Thermatru, MAI doors, and Western Reflections. We also stock several different interior door styles from Gelled Wen with access to their entire interior door line and others. We have a full-time estimator on staff who can do blueprint takeoffs and estimated material list for whatever project you have. He can work with contractors or homeowners to help you get your project started and answer any questions you may have. You'll also have access to an outside sales representative that will be there throughout the building process from start to finish. Our mission is to provide service at a level that differentiates us as the best in the marketplace. Lumber One, where service still matters. In 1886, aluminum was developed. The first Coca-Cola was sold. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated. And Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to. And maybe that's true. But for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust. That's my bank for all of Crawford County. You're watching Airwaves Media. Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media back, and we are in H.P. Stewart Arena tonight. The Lady Bulldogs at halftime lead the Airedales 40 to 16. Now the girls are back out there on the court, still looking for the Lady Bulldogs. They're not back out there quite yet. Big first half for Anna Trusty, 15 points to lead the way, and Wolsey has got 12, so 27 points from their big two, big two seniors at the Lady Bulldogs have. 
And for Alma, seven points to lead the way for the Lady Airedales. Chloe Gregory, six points, a couple of three-point baskets made in this game from McKinley McCart. In fact, she had the first six points for Alma tonight. But second game after this will be the boys. It'll be a pretty good matchup, you would think. Greenwood and Alma always bring a lot of energy. You can bet B.J. Ross will have his guys ready to go. Now we're back home Friday night as the Airedales return to Charles B. Dyer Arena. They will play their second home conference match of the uh, season. They played Sodom Springs er earlier, and they'll get Mountain home on Friday night. Kevin Taylor and Matt Farrell with you tonight. We've got all the usual suspects here as well. Lewis Alexander and Stetson Goodson running the scoreboard. And Jace Coleman is rocking it out on the camera to the right. So the Airedales still waiting on the Lady Bulldogs to get back out. Now the boys basketball team still out there getting up some halftime warm-up shots in. So the Airedales again home on Friday night. That'll be the start of a three-game homestand. Mountain home on Friday. Van Buren a week from tonight. And then a week from Friday night, Harrison, we start round two of 5A West Conference play. Waiting on the officials and the Lady Bulldogs to get back out here. Here come the officials. Still waiting on the Lady Bulldogs. And here they finally come out of the locker room. The Lady Bulldogs coming back on the court. Arrow says Greenwood basketball. The Lady Bulldogs will start the opening possession here in the second half, and here we go. Greenwood starting five back out there, led by Anna Trusty, who's got it, kicks it around. Here's a baseline move that's going to be stay taken away by Demaya Parker, who throws it off of the Greenwood player, I believe. It was off of Sexton, Farley Sexton. Nope, that was off of Isabella Smith. Pressure in the backcourt. Lady Airedales get it across midcourt. That's Gramlick. Jordan's got it on the right side. Dribbles in, turns around. Nice move, puts it up, and no good. Missed the, uh, the layup. They get it back, put it up, no good. Jordan Gramlick again, up and in. Jordan's first basket tonight. And Alma trails it 40-18. Three-point shot baseline for Greenwood. Good. Early Sexton. Sexton with that bucket. Alma gets it across midcourt. Sexton's got eight. 
here in this game. Here's a turnover, and the Lady Bulldogs up 43-18. They have it back. And some pressure in the backcourt and a foul called against the Lady Airedales. It's on Jordan Gramlich. Second foul on Gramlich, and here come the Lady Bulldogs across midcourt. We look across the uh, college basketball landscape, and Clay Reeve, you talk about a program. They've got kids playing all over the place. Here's a shot up, no good. You got Jalen Glass played here. Played at Oklahoma Wesley, and they got kids at Hendricks. They got kids at UCA, the Fisher girl at UCA, starting point guard. And they've got players at UAFS, and they got one at Tulsa. Free throw is up and good. Trusty's got one more foul shot coming here. So Demaya Parker picked up the foul. That's her fourth foul. She'll check out. Both foul shots are good. And Trusty now 17 points to lead the way, lead all scores here in this game tonight. So yeah, they got a ton of kids playing college. That is just, that is mucho impressive. Here's a shot up, no good. And the rebound taken down by the Lady Airedales. And gonna be a steal. Trusty going to drive it up, puts it up and in. Trusty's yeah. got 19. 6.15 to play here in the third quarter. It's a 45 to 18 game. Here's a three-point shot for Alma. It's no good, and the rebound goes out of bounds back to Greenwood. 47-18. Bulldogs move it around. Here's a baseline three-point shots, no good, and the rebound trusty puts it right back in and missed it. Rebounded by the Lady Airedales. Gregory on the rebound. Here's McCart, couldn't hang on to it, lost it. Here comes Greenwood, a run out, fast break layup is no good, but Trusty is uh, there, it's Woolsey, I'm bound my bad for the rebound. Shot baseline up, no good, and the rebound tipped around, McCart's got it for Alma. And to Gregory, Gregory. Back to McCart, three-point shot for McKinley. Finds its way in there, good. 47-21, Alma down by 26. Baseline three-point shot's good. Greenwood another one. And a timeout, 30-second timeout for Clay Reeves. That'll make it a 50-22 game. Greenwood. Greenwood on top, 50 to 21, my bad. Greenwood on top of this game by 29 points. Get my Texas math right. Both teams talking over on a short 30 second timeout. Mentioned earlier, the state tournament will be at Searcy. It'll be in Searcy at Harding University. Spent the last few weeks, especially during the snow days, going back and Working in all the old scorebooks. Alma Searcy, same conference. Hard to imagine that about 20 years ago. They were, they were in the conference for a while, 90s and the 2000s for a little bit. I believe Searcy is back in 5A. They are in 5A. I believe they're in the 5A Central. I could be wrong on that, but... Many years ago, they were in the 5A West, played football, basketball, baseball, played everything. Alma gets it across midcourt. And the ball slapped out of bounds. Good recovery, good defense over there from Carly Sexton. Greenwood will lose. They will lose some seniors. But they will have some good young players coming back, which you expect, strong program. Here's the ball taken away by Woolsey, one of those seniors, taken back and stolen by the Airedales. Grandma had it, couldn't hang on to it. It's kicked, no call. And Greenwood picks it up. 50 to 21, good feed down low and a 
layup good. Greenwood by 31, 52-21. She got ourselves a running clock. And a steal for Greenwood. Woolsey kicks it around. Good ball movement by the Lady Bulldogs. Wide open, three-point shots on the way. It's good. Greenwood 55, Alma 21, and a timeout. Full timeout, Chanley Bottoms. Let's take it with you. We will be right back. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition, efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs, on-site insurance filing and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair. Quality first, always. Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media, and we are back at HP Stewart Arena. I mentioned earlier, this is one of the uh, nicer arenas, one of my favorite places. I like this place, really like Harrison. I like Greenbrier, too. Just, uh, just not a bad seat in the house, but this was one of the first new arenas built back in the 1990s. And they've had a bunch of state tournaments. I want to say they had it in 97 and 98. And then, of course, uh, 2002 and the famous 2005 state tournament. The year the Airedales won both. The infamous Matt Belk shot, who did it not once, but twice. He did it here in the semis and in the finals. And then the way the Airedales and Chanley Bottoms won here her senior year. Alma gets it across midcourt, and then the ball is taken away by the Lady Bulldogs. 3.35 left here in the third quarter. And a reach-in foul called against Jordan Gramlich. Now they're going to call it on Kylie Poole instead. Demaya Parker going to check in for Alma. That is the third team foul against the Lady Airedales here in this third quarter of play. Here's a shot for Greenwood. No good. Battle for it. And it's taken down by the Lady Airedales. That's Jaden Gramlich. Or it's Jordan Gramlich trying to hang on to it over to Parker. Parker to Gramlich. Here's McCart for three, in and out, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Airedale. It's going to be a reach-in foul called against Greenwood. That's the uh, first foul called against Piercy. That's the first team foul here in this third quarter. I almost got it on the baseline. That's three fouls on Piercy. Cart's got it outside. And a foul called against Greenwood. 55-21, so 34-point advantage. Under three minutes left here in this third quarter of play, and Greenwood's got it on defense right now. And the ball tipped away. Bulldogs get it back. Here's a move on the baseline now. It's inside the trusty up. No good, but a foul call against the Lady Airedales. Two foul shots for Anna Trusty, who's got 19 points, looking to get the 20 here on the evening. Fouls on for 33, Jordan Gramlich. That's her third. Three fouls on Jordan Gramlich. McCart and Gramlich, both Jordan fouled out at Greenbrier last week. Foul situation serious for the Lady Airedales. First foul shot is good. And that is now 20 points on the evening. For Anna Trusty, one more foul shot to come. Got them both. That is 24 points for Anna Trusty and a steal for Greenwood. They lead the game 57-21.
Three-point shot, top of the circle, good. 60 to 21, Greenwood leads it. Grambling to McCart, baseline shot is up, no good, and the ball is tipped out of bounds. Ramlick, Jaden could not hang on to it. Back over to the Lady Bulldogs. Two minutes left here to play in the third quarter of play. Three point shots on the way, it's good. It's Brooklyn Wolsey who's got 18 points here in this game and Greenwood 63 to 21. Here's a three-point shot from a cart. It's no good. The rebound by the Airedales. They kick it back outside. Gramlick for three. It's good. Jordan's got a basket tonight. That's her second. She's got five points. And Alex trails it now. 63-24. Three-point shots. No good. Rattles in and out. And a put back for Greenwood's good. And a trusty's got 26. For two. 115 to play here in this third quarter. Gramlick going to launch a deep three. It's in and out, no good. And the rebound, Alma had it, missed it. And then Greenwood picks it up. Now it's stolen away from McKinley McCart. It's going to stay with the Lady Airedales with 103 left here in this third quarter. Inbounds comes outside to Parker. One minute exactly left here in the third quarter of play. Here is Jaden Gramlick, top of the free throw line, no good, and a rebound pulled down by the Lady Bulldogs. Here comes Greenwood, they're running. They're slashing, driving, no good, but a foul called against the Lady Airedales. 40 seconds left here in this third quarter of play. That's five fouls, so Demaya's fouled out. Three points for Demaya. Second straight game, almost had somebody foul out. Chain Lee Bottoms unhappy with the turn of events. Foul shot is good. And a technical foul called against the Lady Airedales. Uh, they will get some more free throws here. 66-24. And the Lady Bulldogs going to shoot some more free throws and hang on to it. We'll have a running clock in the fourth quarter of play. Free throws, no good. And now they're going to shoot the technical fouls. This will be Anna Trusty. 26 points on the night. First free throws, good. Not sure what Anna's plans are to, as far as college, but I would think certainly someplace we'll be glad to have her. She can play. Both free throws are good. 28 points for Anna Trusty. Greenwood's ball out of bounds. 40 seconds left to play here in this third quarter. It's a 68-24 game. Greenwood on top. Three-point shot rattles in and out. Rebounded by the Lady Airedales. Gramlick in trouble, puts it up and in. That's Jordan's with seven points now for the Lady Airedales. 68-26, Greenwood by 42. Here's a three-point shot, it's good. 71-26 and seven seconds left to play here. It's 11 points for Sexton, so a big night for the big three seniors. Here's a half-court three-point shot, it's no good. And after three quarters of play, it's Greenwood 71 out with 26. Let's take time out. Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, 
Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas. Making your family's dreams come true. Hey, I'm Brent. I'm Dale, but you have to call me Dragon. Oh, well, then you have to call me Nightwing. All right, Nightwing, let's play a little game. On the count of three, I want you to say your favorite travel center. Don't even think about it, just say it, all right? One, two, three, Lark What's your favorite deli item? Chicken strips! Do we just become best friends? Yeah! All right! Let's go to Workman's! Workman's? Yeah! Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media, we are back at HP Stewart Arena. You gotta love it when the band plays a Rock Lobster. 1980s. <laughs> Greenwood on top, 71-26 after three quarters of play and Check the lineups. Greenwood's going to have some backups in, I would believe. Yep, they got all backups in. Up 71-26. Demaya Parker is out for Alma. She fouled out with three points. Jordan Gramlich drives in, in trouble, kicks it around, puts it up and in. Strong move from Jordan. And Jordan's got herself nine points for the Lady Airedales. Three-point shot for Greenwood's good. Baseline three-point shot is up. And Greenwood 74 to 28. Shot up, no good. Rebounded by the Airedales, no good again. And Greenwood block out, they get the rebound this time. Lady Bulldogs came in with a record of 14 and four. They will be 15 and four after this game. Well, it's taken away by the Lady Airedales. They will be four and one in the 5A West. Allen will drop to seven and 14 and one and four in 5A West play. There will be better nights for Chan Lee Bottoms. Three point shot from McKinley McCarts, no good. And might have rushed it a little bit. Rebounded by Jordan Gramlick, up, no good, but a foul. And a couple of free throws coming for Jordan Gramlick. They've got some nice pieces coming. They've got a couple, two or three ninth grade girls will potentially help out next couple of years. Ninth grade team has played well this year and got some good players in eighth grade. Got some really nice seventh graders and they got a really good, real strong sixth grade class as well. So. The old saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. Jordan Gramlick, one out of two, and then missed that one. Rebounded by Honkwa. Here come the Lady Bulldogs. 74-29, three-point shots on the way. It's no good, and the rebound taken down by the Lady Airedales. Got a travel, got away with one, and then a steal. Greenwood gets it right back. Five and a half to play. Just a matter of the final score. We've got 15 seconds on the shot clock. Three point shots, no good. And a rebound, the Lady Airedales. Chloe Gregory, that's not Briella Hughes. Gregory, blonde ponytail. Hughes, a blonde ponytail, but Hughes is number four. Gregory is number 21. Jordan Gramlick's got it. This is Jaden up and no good. Strong move, but a couple of foul shots coming for Jaden Gramlick. Boys game will come up after this. Jordan's got 10 points to lead the Lady Airedales here tonight. Nine points for McCart. First free throw is up and good. That's the first point this evening for Jaden Gramlich. Next free throw is good. So they got them both. 74-31. Now I'm back home Friday night. Lady Bombers of Mountain Home will be in the building. Be a different 
5A West landscape in 2024-25 for at least the next two years. Three-point shot for the Lady Bulldogs is no good. Gramlich, another rebound. That's Jordan. Three and a half left here in this game. McCart's got it outside. Over to Jordan Gramlich. Here's Jaden. Some contact, nothing. And a rebound, Greenwood. 74-31. Bulldogs going to fire up a three. It's up. It's no good. And a foul called against Alma. Well, that's what you that's what you talk about. And that's what had Chan Lee so upset. Alma drives in, draws a lot of contact. I, I realize the score is what it is, but you've got to call it the same way on both ends. You just can't be different. Then a reach-in foul called against Alma. And free throws coming for the Lady Bulldogs. It's not going to change the outcome of the game, but you, you've got to you got to stay the same. Next foul shot's on the way. It's uh, it's good. And Greenwood 76 to 31. Lady Bulldogs on their way to their 15th victory here as Gramlick drives in. This time there's contact and a foul. And Jordan will be at the Fouls charity stripe. One, Shoot a couple of foul shots. Isabella Nine, Benson two, checks two, in two, for two, Alma three. a couple minutes ago. Kylie Poole out there and Kenley McCart. Coach Bottoms has talked about really enjoying having those seniors and the great leadership they provided for the younger players. Haven Welch will check in for the Lady Airedales. That senior leadership is invaluable. Free throw is good. So 12 points for Jordan, who came in averaging 13 and a half. She's right at her average. Three-point shot for Greenwood is no good. But a long rebound, Greenwood. Here's a three-point shot for the Lady Bulldogs. It's good. 140 left in the game. Here's McKinley McCart for three. It's no good. And a rebound, Greenwood. 79-33. Greenwood on its way to its 15th victory. Another three-point shot's on the way. It's good again. 82 to 33, Greenwood by 49. With a minute left. Got a jump ball, it's gonna go back to Greenwood. And the clock stopped, not sure why. Now the clock's going again. Eighty-two, thirty-three, and a travel. Goodness gracious! Come on, there, there it is. Jason Harris couldn't let that one go. And Lady Airedales get it back. Forty seconds left here in this game, and Alma's shot clock still on. There's about a five-second differential in time on the shot clock and the game clock. It's going to be a turnover. Good pressure from Greenwood, and the Lady Bulldogs have it back. Shot clock is off. 20 seconds left, and Greenwood bring it down the court up 82-33. Three-point shot's on the way. It's no good. And the ball goes out of bounds. It goes to Alma, and that'll do it. In the books, this one's over. Greenwood wins it tonight, 82-33. The Lady Bulldogs, 15-4 on the air. Now 4-1 in the 5A West play. Alma drops to 7-14 and 1-4 in conference play. We'll be back in a few minutes for the boys game, so stay with us. The boys coming up, coming up after this. Tree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000-square-foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas. Making your family's dreams come true. 
are not a perfect church filled with perfect people who have their life all together. We struggle with our marriages. Sometimes we are judgmental and at times hypocritical. So if you are not perfect like us, you'll fit in perfectly. First Baptist Church is a group of people who believe Jesus is the answer to what has gone wrong in our world and to what has gone wrong in our own lives. Church for us is community. Friends who belong together and people who love and serve the community of Alma are home. We would love for you to join us. We promise you'll fit in perfectly. Heritage Portraits has proudly provided photography services for the River Valley and surrounding areas for over 20 years, including school photography and yearbooks, youth sports leagues, corporate photography, studio sessions, and event photography. Have you been meaning to order your child's school photos? Walk-ins are welcome, and we offer on-site printing. We are located at 402 Webster Street in Van Buren. Contact us today. We're ready to photograph you. Hey, I'm Brent. I'm Dale, but you have to call me Dragon. Oh, well, then you have to call me Nightwing. All right, Nightwing. Let's play a little game. On the count of three, I want you to say your favorite travel center. Don't even think about it. Just say it, all right? One, two, three. Work Mint! <gasps> What's your favorite deli item? Chicken strips! Do we just become best friends? Yeah. All right. Let's go to Work Mint. Work Mint. Yeah! Alright, now that we're finally here, what's your favorite homemade jelly or jam? Peach jam! <gasps> Me too! Yeah. Wow. Look at all the amazing honeys and jams, and all these other goodies. Wow! Excuse me, ma'am, that looks delicious. <clears throat> oh, burger, that's my burger. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Look at the wide variety it gets. Wow. Oh, yeah. Workmen's! Yeah! Spartan General Contractors is a construction company equipped with highly trained and experienced individuals ready to support you with your next construction project. Residential or commercial, Spartan has the resources needed to help you achieve your final goal. One of our main objectives at Spartan is to keep your project on time and within your budget. While the thoughts of your next construction job can seem complex and overwhelming, let Spartan General Contractors help alleviate that stress and make your next project become reality. Here at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, we do things differently. Because here, learning doesn't just happen on screens and in books, we learn through action. With degree plans that are on our terms, whether in class or online. And because UAEFS is the most affordable four-year campus in Arkansas, we can do it all without going into debt. So when we graduate, we don't just have a diploma, we have a resume that will launch our careers. Lumber One is a locally owned lumber yard located in Van Buren, Arkansas, down on Industrial Park Road. We've been in business since 2002, and our vision is to provide quality building materials to the professional builder and to the do-it-yourselfer at competitive prices. Lumber One offers a full line of lumber, unfinished and finished plywood, engineered wood, cedar products, and LP smart siding and trim, along with access to James Hardy siding and other pre-finished siding. We also carry roofing, insulation materials, drywall, and wood sidings like shiplap siding, cedar lap and gap, and car siding. Our full line door shop can handle all your door, window, and trim needs. We offer several different exterior door and glass options from Thermatru, MAI doors, and Western Reflections. We also stock several different interior door styles from Geldwen with access to their entire interior door line and others. We have a full-time estimator on staff who can do blueprint takeoffs and estimated material list for whatever project you have. He can work with contractors or homeowners to help you get your project started and answer any questions you may have. You'll also have access to an outside sales representative that will be there throughout the building process from start to finish. Our mission is to provide service at a level that differentiates us as the best in the marketplace. Lumber One, where service still matters.
In 1886, aluminum was developed, the first Coca-Cola was sold, the Statue of Liberty was dedicated, and Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to, and maybe that's true, but for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust, that's my bank for all of Crawford County. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition, efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs, on-site insurance filing and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair. Quality first, always. Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas, making your family's dreams come true. You're watching Airwaves Media. Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media. We are back at Greenwood's HB Stewart Arena. We've got the boys game coming up next. Now we're getting ready to take on the Greenwood Bulldogs. And B.J. Ross, the longtime Charleston coach, in his first year as the Greenwood coach, he and his wife Marcia came over. She's also teaching here. And they've got some, uh, B.J. likes his young kids. they got a really nice eighth grade team. Pretty good seventh grade group as well. But uh, it'll, take, it'll take a little bit. But... They're going to play hard, and they're going to come after you tonight, no doubt about it. Greenwood comes into tonight's game, the standings in the 5A West play. Van Buren is at Solomon Springs tonight. Alma here at Greenwood. They're both 4-0 in conference play. Russellville and Mountain Home are 3-1. Greenbrier, Greenwood, OR 1-3. Each team is 1-3. Harrison's 0-3, and, and Solomon Springs is 0-5. So Tim Stewart and Siloam may drop to 0-6 tonight if they drop that game to Van Buren. And Friday night, boy, some big games coming. I'll tell you, some big matchups in the 5A West. Friday night, you've got Harrison. Well, check that. Friday night, you got Van Buren in Russellville. That's a big one on Friday night. And then Alma's home against Mountain Home. That's a big game. Mountain Home Boys, 3-1, and 15-5 and five on the year. Those teams have played a lot of home games. Mountain Home's played 14 home games. Russellville, 15. Van Buren's played a lot of home games, 13 home games. Harrison's played 15 home games. Greenwood has only played, this is their fifth home game. And Alma has only played five home games. So they've got some home games coming up. But the Airedales just uh, just five home games so far, three and two. The Airedales at home wins over Southside, Clarksville, and Salem Springs, and of course they lost those two games in the Charles B. Dyer Classic. One of those to Lake Hamilton, who's having a great year, a terrific basketball team, and the other game they lost in the H.P. Stewart Classic to Bentonville West. So the Airedales and the Bulldogs ready tonight. Elmo's got their starting five, and it's a good one. They've also got a lot of depth off the bench. That starting five for Alma includes the uh, point guard, Kermati Smith. You've got Camden Kurt, Israel Towns Robinson. We call him Izzy. He's having a great year. He's having a really, really solid run in the 5A West. Very low key. Miles Kendrick. 
one of the starters and a sophomore Easton Box, so it's all underclassmen for Alma. They've got four juniors and a sophomore. So these kids are all back next year. And it's crazy to think that Easton will be a senior when that ninth grade group, they've got some nice pieces that are coming up. Hudson Lockridge and Drake C. and Poli and Luke Stockstill, that's a really good group. Carson Kerr in there, Cade Moore, Sammy Moore. Those kids will be juniors and Easton will still be here. <laughs> He'll be a senior that year. So the Airedales and the Greenwood Bulldogs ready to get it on, get this thing going. We're about ready to meet the starting lineup. Officials going over to meet with the coaches. So the Lady Airedales fall tonight, 82-33. 12 points for Jordan Gramlich to lead the way for Alma. Nine points for McKinley McCart. And the Lady Airedales drop the one and four in the 5A West. 28 points for Anna Trusty to lead the way for the Lady Bulldogs. So the Airedales and the Bulldogs, boys matchup getting ready to tip off here. Greenwood and Alma, they've met a few times. 127 meetings all time. The Airedales lead the series 71-56. Alma's had their way of late. They've won 21 of the last 28 games. 21 and seven, in fact. That goes back a ways. There were a couple of years they didn't play. They didn't play in 13 and 14. A couple of cycles they weren't in the same conference. But uh, they're back in there. They've been back in there since 2015. 2014-15 campaign. And the Airedales have won the last three with the Bulldogs. They won the season series last year, won both games one here, and then one at home. Alma finished four and 10. And speaking of wins, if you go back to last year, the Airedales have actually won six consecutive conference games. They finished up with two wins in a row last year, Greenwood and Mountain Home, and they opened up this year with four straight wins in 5A West play, first time since 2012. And they've beaten some good, solid teams. Harrison, Russellville, beat a good Greenbrier team last Friday night, and the other win against Solemn Springs. So they've had some strong play to start the 5A West. Coach Dominic Lincoln's third year. And that really good class, that group, Eddie Quarters, they were ninth graders, they won the River Valley Conference. And they got a good class coming next year. A good group of ninth graders will be up there as sophomores. Probably won't get a lot of playing time, if any at all, but they'll be back up there and getting ready to contribute, perhaps when they're juniors. We'll see. So officials are ready to get this thing going. Airedales and the Bulldogs here from H.B. Stewart Arena. H.B. Stewart, the longtime coach for the Greenwood Bulldogs, and they've had some uh, pretty good coaches here over the years. Pedro Sadler came in after Coach uh, Stewart retired. That was back in the 1990s. Pedro, the longtime assistant coach at Southside as well. And of course, his dad, the legendary Jeep Sadler, and his brother, Doc. Pretty good basketball coach uh, as well. Doc, the longtime college coach, uh, one time county line coach, in fact. Doc, of course, also coached at West Ark for a long time. All right, we're ready to get this thing going. The Airedales and the Bulldogs here from HB Stewart Arena. Let's meet the starting lineup. See, here we go. A junior, number one, Camden Kerr. A junior, number two, Armani Smith. 
Camden Kurds played well the last couple of games, 16 and 9. After a little bit of a slow start, some of that you can attribute to football coming out late. Miles Kendrick has also played well in the last couple of games. And really, that's, the, that's been the, the story with this team. Just a lot of depth and a lot of different guys getting it done. All right, let's meet the Bulldogs. Number four. Jaden Garns, Peyton Presson, Stephen Philpot, number eleven, L.J. Robin, and a senior, number fifteen, Brenda, and Brendan Chick. K.J. Ross in his first year and the coach, assistant coach in his fourth year is Dexter Piercy. We are ready to get this thing going. Chick will jump it off against uh, Towns Robinson. And this game about to get going here from H.B. Stewart Arena. And the opening tip. One by Chick. Greenwood's got the first tip, the first possession. Three-point shots on the way. It's no good. A rebound taken down by Miles Kendrick. He'll hand it off to Kermani Smith. Down low it goes to Izzy. Puts it up and in. First basket for Towns Robinson. He has really been strong the last three games in particular. Now I'm up 2 nothing. B.J. Ross played his high school ball at County Line, and the longtime coach at Charleston, Chick's got it down low. Good move, and inside, no good, and a rebound is corralled by Camden Kerr. He had a pretty nice uh, head fake on Towns Robinson, but missed the shot. Easton Boggs gets it to Izzy. Izzy spins, kicks it outside, and throws it away. And the Bulldogs get it back. Greenwood's had, they've had a run of coaches about the last 15 years, and E.J. Ross, his job opened up in the summer, and he jumped on it after a pretty good run at Charleston. Here's a drive inside to kick it around. 6.40 left here in the first quarter. Nice move inside. Basket is good. Count the bucket. And a free throw. Coming for Greenwood. Team fouls are one and one. Free throws good, so the Bulldogs have a 3 2 lead. Six and a half to play in the first quarter. Greenwood just two wins on the year. Easton Boggs kicks it around. Camden Kurtz open for three. It's in and out, no good. And the rebound, Bulldogs. Alma started a little bit slow at Greenbrier the other night. Here's a drive inside, no good. A rebound taken down by the Airedales. I believe that was Izzy. Kurtz going to hang on to it. Alma trails at 3-2. Here's Kermani Smith outside. Miles Kendrick for three. It's no good. And the rebound taken down by the Airedale, stolen away from Camden Kerr. Here is Box for three. It's up, no good. The rebound, Kendrick has got it, and he traveled. Trying to gain his footing and just could not hang on. And the Bulldogs have it out of bounds, up 3-2. 5.50 left here in the first quarter. I'm a little bit slow starting at Greenbird. They were down 5-2 and 12-9, but... Well, that third quarter outscored the Panthers 21 to 11. Just took control of that game. Here's a little move inside for two. Greenwood's up five to two. Inside for two. (laughs) 
Alma's firing up the threes. They've missed four three-point shots here in this first quarter. 5-2 Greenwood. Camden Curd has it. 15 on the shot clock. Camden drives in, puts it up, and in. Camden's first basket. Alma trails it 5-4. Bulldogs picked up a road win last week. Or no, they picked up a home win against Salem Springs. There's a shot up and in. Brandon Chicks got another bucket, and the Bulldogs extend that lead to 7-4. to four. Here is Kermati Smith inside, no good. And the Bulldogs have the rebound. And then they got hammered. They lost to uh, big time last Friday night. Here's a shot. It's no good. Mountain Home got them by like 30. 7-4, to four. Greenwood leads it by three. Camden Curd wheels, drives inside, puts it up, contact, no foul, but he gets a layup anyway. Four points for Camden. Alma trails seven to six. Alma had an early two nothing advantage, and Greenwood has taken the lead, and they've led ever since. Led it by as much as three. Five to two and seven to four. Shot clock down to 14, and oh, still. And then going to be a kick ball. No, no, timeout. A steal and a timeout. Smart play from Camden Curd. And the Airedales down 7-6, to six, take a 30-second timeout. Let's keep it right here with you. So, again, Friday night, the first of three straight home games for the Airedales. Mountain Home will be in the building. That'll be the first time the Airedales have been home for a minute. Well, they played the one game of Salon, but before that, they hadn't played at home since back on December the 2nd. Almost got Van Buren a week from tonight. And then they'll close out that three-game homestand with Harrison. That'll be a week from Friday night. That'll start round two. The Van Buren game on Tuesday is the makeup game from the snow week. Had all that snow last week. No games last Tuesday, so everybody trying to scramble around. That was the built-in makeup date that the uh, conference coaches put in. Here's a drive inside and a block, and the Bulldogs get it back in a travel. So Alma gets it back. That was a strong move from Carmody Smith, but he missed the layup. Alma's got it out of bounds. Carmody Smith will get the pass from Camden Curd, and here we go. 340 left here in the first quarter. Camden Curd's got four points early. Box has got it outside of Kermani. They get it inside to Towns Robinson. Izzy working on Chick, drives inside, lays it up and in. Four points for Izzy. Alma back on top, 8-7. Four points for Curd and four for Izzy. Alma leads at 8-7. Here's a drive for Greenwood, no good. Another rebound for Towns Robinson. Ends it off to Camden Curtin. Here we go. 3.15 to play in the first quarter. Fermati Smith had it, lost it. Here's a run out and a layup for Greenwood. Landon Robbins with the layup. Greenwood takes a 9-8 lead. Here's Tyree McGill. He's hammered. He'll shoot two foul shots. So on 2.53 left here in the first quarter and a couple of free throws coming for Tyree McGill. Tyree had checked in, and Miles Kendrick will check back in. And also for the first time tonight, Matthew Rogers will check in after the first free throw. Tyree ties it up. Tyree had four points in that win last Friday night at Greenbrier, and Matthew Rogers checks in and... Curd will check out along with Kermani Smith. Kendrick and Rogers are in. Free throws good. Alma back on top 10 to 9. Alma shot it well for the charity stripe last night as well. Or last Friday night, 8 out of 10 from the free throw line. Here's a three point shot for Greenwood. No good. And it goes out of bounds. 
Airedales have it back. 2.40 left here in the third qu first quarter of play. Dominic Lincoln is 2-0 in this building, by the way. They won here in 2022 and 2023. Here's a nice drive inside for the Airedales. Cap the basket and a foul. Four points for Tyree McGill and a chance for a three-point play. Alma's got its biggest lead, 12 to 9. Two fouls on Peyton Presson. He will take a seat. Free throw for Tyree McGill coming up here, and it's up, and it is no good. Missed the free throw, but the Airedales have a three-point lead at 12 to 9. Four points for Tyree McGill. Greenwood working the offense. Two minutes and 10 seconds left here in the first quarter of play. Three-point shot on the wing is up and no good. And the rebound, Tyree McGill. Tyree hangs on to it and going to reset the offense now. Outside to Matthew Rogers. Easton Box, nice feed down low to Izzy. Turns, missed it. And the rebound kicks outside to Matthew Rogers. Distance, puts it up, no good, but a foul. And two foul shots for Matthew coming up. Now I'm a two out of three at the charity stripe. Two more free throws coming here from Rogers. Free throws up and Matthew Rogers missed the front end. He'll get one more. Downs Robinson will check out and Eddie Tate checks in. And Christopher Salazar will check in for the Airedales as well. And with two out of four and make it three out of five. So one out of two for Matthew Rogers down with 13 to nine. The Airedales have scored the last five points. Greenwood gets it stolen away. Here come the Airedales. Matthew Rogers kicks it outside. Yeah, travel. That's a good call. The Airedales give it right back. Matthew Rogers thinking about shooting that thing and just uh, couldn't get his feet set. So Greenwood's got it back. A minute 15 to play in the first quarter. 13 to 9. Here's a little baseline shot up. No good. Another rebound for the Airedales. Matthew Rogers has got it. Here's a drive. Tyree McGill up. No good. More free throws for the Airedales. So Alma challenging the Greenwood Bulldogs. And this will be seven free throws here in the first quarter for the Airedales. Three out of five. Two out of three for Tyree. And two shots coming with a minute to play in the first quarter. Got the first one. Miguel leads the Airedales with five points now. And he got them both. So the Airedales have themselves uh, seven points, by the way, for Tyree McGill. The Airedales have themselves a 15 to nine lead and a steal for Alma. This is Matthew Rogers. Kicks it down low to Salazar, puts it up and in. Chris is on the board. Alma 17 to nine. It's a nine nothing run for the Airedales. And another turnover. Matthew Rogers broke a couple ankles right there and the Airedales get it back. This is what's really impressive. They're doing this with basically backups. They got Miles Kendrick, the two guard still out there, but all the other guys are off the bench. Here's Tyree. Kicks it outside. Three-point shot for the Airedales is no good. And the rebound, Chick. 20 seconds left here in the first quarter. 9-0 run for Alma. They lead it 17-9. 
Shot clock is off. Eight seconds left here in the first quarter. Good move inside for Greenwood. No good. The putback is no good. The rebound, Eddie Tate. And that'll do it. After one quarter of play, <laughs> well, he made the basket, but obviously the clock had run out. That was pretty cool. After one quarter of play, it's Alma 17 and Greenwood 9. Let's take timeout. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition, efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs, on-site insurance filing and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair. Quality first, always. Well, Matthew Rogers got a highlight reel, but unfortunately uh, the clock had struck zero, not even close, but hey, it was pretty cool anyway. Now the leads after one quarter of play, 17 to nine, they're gonna have the first possession to start this second quarter of play as Alma tries to go to five and zero, oh. And a strong start, strong finish in that first quarter. Rodgers, who heaved that long shot, has got it across midcourt. Salazar stays in. Eddie Tate stays in. Here's a drive for in. No good. Eddie Tate, the putback. No good. And the rebound, Greenwood. Hudson Box has checked in for the first time. Miles Kendrick stays out there on the floor. Salazar in there for the Airedales. Three-point shot for Greenwood's up and good. That's Bowman. Braden Bowman's first bucket here tonight. Airedales have it. Here's a short jumper, good. That's Salazar's first basket. And the leads it 19 to 12. Shot inside the circle, no good. And it's tipped around and goes off of Miles Kendrick. That was crazy. That thing was like a corkscrew, just kind of shot up in the air and goes off of Miles. Bulldogs have it on the baseline. They trail it by seven points. Inbounds comes to Chick. Chick turns around, strong move up, no good. And the rebound, Hudson Boggs. Kendrick outside to Salazar. Chris over to Kendrick. Miles will drive in, lay up, or lays it up. No good, and the ball's tipped out of bounds. They give it to Greenwood. I think that was going to be an alley-oop, kind of an alley-oop pass to uh, Eddie Tate and just did not get enough on it. So the Bulldogs trail it by seven. They've got it back. Three-point shot for Greenwood's no good. And the rebound, bunch of Airedales. Who's got it? Looks like Kendrick. Hudson Boggs will fire up a three. It's no good. And bounces in. Yeah, the fortuitous bounce, if you will. And the Airedales, 22 to 12. That's got to feel good for uh, Hudson. Been a couple games since he cracked the scoreboard. Big shot for Hudson. Alma has a largest lead tonight, 22 to 10. And the Bulldogs throw it away. Alma gets it right back. And again, they're doing all this, Alma, with the backups. Only one starter out there, and that's Miles Kendrick. You just can't have enough depth ever. Here is a three-point shot for the Airedales. No good. And Greenwood's got the rebound. Ballman goes to the right side. That's uh, Presson. 15 on the shot clock. Good feed down low. Shots up and in. That's Presson. 
19 to 14. Alma leads it, or I'm sorry, 22 to 14. Alma leads it by eight. Salazar up, no good. And the rebound, Greenwood. Here come the Bulldogs down eight. And they kick it outside. Now they drive it in. Alma's going to bring in their starters here in a couple minutes on the next dead ball. Rebound Alma on the miss. And a run out to Salazar. Salazar lays it up and in. Four points for Chris. And the Airedales back up by 10, 24 to 14. Tyree McGill will check in as well. Next dead ball. Three-point shot for Greenwood's up. No good. And the rebound, Eddie Tate. Here come the Airedales. Matthew Rogers is fouled. He will shoot a couple of foul shots with uh, 426 left here in the first half. Foul's on number five, Jake That's his second. Matthew might have been shaking up a little bit. Basketball can be a contact sport, no doubt about it. Rogers free throws up and good. That's going to be nine free throw attempts for the Airedales in this game tonight. In the first half, they shot 10 at Greenbrier, already nine tonight. Matthew Rogers, one more free throw. And it's up, and it's good. Matthew will check out. Tyree McGill back in. So good balance for the Airedales. Who have themselves a 12-point lead now, 26-14. to 14, Biggest lead of the night for Alma. Bulldogs moving it around. They've missed some. They've had some good looks and just have not got the ball to drop in. There's a missed shot and a rebound from Towns Robinson. Tremonti Smith will get it across midcourt. Under four minutes left here in the first half. Over to Camden Curd, and Curd lost the handle of it, lost it out of bounds. Out of bounds. Greenwood basketball. So the Bulldogs have it back. 3.53 to play in the first half. Here's a ball that's going to be tipped out of bounds. And the Bulldogs throw it back court. Here's a feed down low, good pass, layup good. Greenwood back to within 10, 26 to 16, that's Bowman. Bowman's got five points here in this game. Camden Kurd's got it. Here's Easton Boggs, baseline shot, couldn't get it to drop in the rebound check. Baseline shot open for Greenwood, no good. Another rebound for Towns Robinson. Here come the Airedales. 26-16, Alma by 10. Box top of the circle, three-point shots, no good. And the rebound, Greenwood. Here come the Bulldogs on the run. Three-point shot, Greenwood up, no good. And the rebound, Easton Boggs has got it. Two and a half to play in the first half. Camden Curd feeds down low to Izzy. Puts it up, no good, but a foul and two shots. Two free throws coming for Towns Robinson. Really nice pass from Camden Curd. Miles Kendrick will check back in for the Airedales. Towns Robinson's free throw is no good. Alma has attempted. This will be the 11th free throw. They've only missed three. That's a third miss. Seven of 10 as of right now. And another free throw to come in for Towns Robinson. 
26-16, Izzy. One more free throw up. Got one out of two. So the Airedales here tonight, eight out, uh, nine out of 12. And they lead it 27 to 16. There's a shot up for Greer Greenwood, no good, taken down by Cremonti Smith. And a good pass to Camden Kurt, lays it up and in. Cremonti Smith averages four assists, a really nice time to Camden. And the Airedales have their biggest lead by 13 now, 29 to 16. Bulldogs moving things around. Here's a drive up and no good. A rebound for Easton Boggs. And a run out for Alma. Miles Kendrick puts it up, no good. But a foul for Greenwood. This will be two more free throws for the Airedales. Alma's attempt at 11, this will be 13. Free throw from Miles is good. He'll get one more. And got them both. So the Airedales have a 15 point lead, 31 16. I'm going to get this. Back on defense, Greenwood moves it around. Here's a strong move inside for two. That's Braden Bowman, he's got seven. Ah. 31-18, Kendrick throws it away and here come the Bulldogs on a run out. And a three point opportunity in the foul. Chance for the old-fashioned three-point play for the Bulldogs. They trail at 31-20 here in the first half. D.J. Ross, first year, coming over from Charleston. He missed the free throw, but they missed, they got the rebound. Here's a three-point shot, top of the circle, no good. And rebound, Airedales. So uh, Coach Ross last summer a few times, and uh, Team camp, here's a shot for Izzy up and in. Boy, he looks funny wearing that Greenwood G on his shirt. Good feed, Chick up, up, no good. Tipped around, Elmo's got it. Here comes Carmody Smith on the run. Carmody to Izzy, Izzy, up, no good. Got his rebound, lays it up and in. Israel Towns Robinson, he's got 10. And the Airedales lead it 35 to 20. One of the coaches that uh, Coach Ross brought over here was longtime county line girls coach, Ryan Castleman. Here's a three point shot, no good, and that'll do it. Castleman, the ninth grade junior high coach for the Bulldogs. Good first half for the Airedales who lead it 35 20. Let's take time out. In 1886, aluminum was developed. The first Coca-Cola was sold. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated. And Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to. And maybe that's true. But for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust. That's my bank for all of Crawford County. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs. On-site insurance filing and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair. Quality first, always. 
Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000-square-foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas, making your family's dreams come true. We are not a perfect church filled with perfect people who have their life all together. We struggle with our marriages, sometimes we are judgmental and at times hypocritical. So if you are not perfect like us, you'll fit in perfectly. First Baptist Church is a group of people who believe Jesus is the answer to what has gone wrong in our world and to what has gone wrong in our own lives. Church for us is community. Friends who belong together and people who love and serve the community of Alma are home. We would love for you to join us. We promise you'll fit in perfectly. Heritage Portraits has proudly provided photography services for the River Valley and surrounding areas for over 20 years, including school photography and yearbooks, youth sports leagues, corporate photography, studio sessions, and event photography. Have you been meaning to order your child's school photos? Walk-ins are welcomed, and we offer on-site printing. We are located at 402 Webster Street in Van Buren. Contact us today. We're ready to photograph you. Hey, I'm Brent. I'm Dale, but you have to call me Dragon. Oh, well, then you have to call me Nightwing. All right, Nightwing. Let's play a little game. On the count of three, I want you to say your favorite travel center. Don't even think about it. Just say it, all right? One, two, three. Warkman! <gasps> What's your favorite deli item? Chicken strips! Do we just become best friends? Yeah. All right. Let's go to Workman's. Workman's? Yeah! Now that we're finally here, what's your favorite homemade jelly or jam? Peach jam! <gasps> Me too! Yeah. Wow. Look at all the amazing honeys and jams, and all these other goodies. Wow. Excuse me, ma'am, that looks delicious. Oh, oh burger, that's burger, burger. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Look at the wide variety of gifts. Wow. Oh, yeah. Workman's! Yeah! Spartan General Contractors is a construction company equipped with highly trained and experienced individuals ready to support you with your next construction project. Residential or commercial, Spartan has the resources needed to help you achieve your final goal. One of our main objectives at Spartan is to keep your project on time and within your budget. While the thoughts of your next construction job can seem complex and overwhelming, let Spartan General Contractors help alleviate that stress and make your next project become reality. Here at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, we do things differently. Because here, learning doesn't just happen on screens and in books, we learn through action. With degree plans that are on our terms, whether in class or online. And because UAFS is the most affordable four-year campus in Arkansas, we can do it all without going into debt. So when we graduate, we don't just have a diploma, we have a resume that will launch our careers. Lumber One is a locally owned lumber yard located in Van Buren, Arkansas, down on Industrial Park Road. We've been in business since 2002, and our vision is to provide quality building materials to the professional builder and to the do-it-yourselfer at competitive prices. Lumber One offers a full line of lumber, unfinished and finished plywood, engineered wood, cedar products, and LP smart siding and trim, along with access to James Hardy siding and other pre-finished siding. We also carry roofing, insulation materials, drywall, and wood sidings like shiplap siding, cedar lap and gap, and car siding. Our full line door shop can handle all your door, window, and trim needs. We offer several different exterior door and glass options from Thermatru, MAI doors, and Western Reflections. We also stock several different interior door styles from Gelled Wen with access to their entire interior door line and others. We have a full-time estimator on staff who can do blueprint takeoffs and estimated material list for whatever project you have. He can work with contractors or homeowners to help you get your project started and answer any questions you may have. 
You'll also have access to an outside sales representative that will be there throughout the building process from start to finish. Our mission is to provide service at a level that differentiates us as the best in the marketplace. Lumber One, where service still matters. You're watching Airwaves Media. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to get your 50-50 tickets. Kevin Taylor at Airwaves Media. We are back in Greenwood. Matthew Farrell and we've got everybody here tonight. Thanks again to Stetson Goodson and all the guys for got Lewis Alexander and Jace Coleman getting everything done, working on the scoreboard and getting the camera shots in for us. And Friday night, Alma's going to be back home as they will take on the Bombers from Mountain Home. That'll be a big one Friday night. I want to pack that arena. I want to have a nice crowd. Boy, you got some big games coming up. Mountain Home is a big one. That'll be on Friday night. And then a week from tonight, Van Buren's in the building. And then after Van Buren, you start round two with Harrison. But you got to play them one game at a time. Just keep it even, even kill. That's really the most impressive thing I've noticed about this team. They're just, they really don't get too up or too down. They don't seem too high. And they were excited, obviously, when they won at Harrison. They haven't won there many times and going back to the 1960s. But that was a, a pretty exciting trip back home. But really after that, they just kind of very even kill. Okay, we won the game. We feel good. Let's go on to game the next one. Yama shot free throws well in that first half, 10 out of 13. That was a big stat. And, of course, uh, good balance for the Airedales. Towns Robinson's got 10. Got some big points off the bench from Tyree McGill. Camden Kurds got some big buckets. Some good dishing and passing from Kermani Smith. As the Airedales look to go to 5-0, this would be the first 5-0 start in conference play. And again, this is a, a tough league. Really good coaches. It's hard to go 5-0. And, and the last time they did that was uh, on the heels of a state championship run. They won that championship with Isaac McCoy and company in 2011. The next year, 2011 and 12, they opened up actually went 8-0 to start the conference play that year. But got to take care of the basketball. Got to finish out the second half here tonight. Up 15. Greenwood's going to have the first possession to start the second half. Bulldogs had an early lead. It led it 5-2 and 7-4, but then Alma took over. 31-13 run to finish out that first half to go up by 15. And a steal. This is Towns Robinson. Izzy missed it, but he's fouled hard. And Izzy is going to be shooting some more free throws. Now I'm a football coach, Rusty Bush here tonight. That's, hey, that's my defensive end. Izzy, a heck of an athlete, but a better kid. First free throws on the way for Towns Robinson. Got it. And 11 points for Towns Robinson now. And make it 12. Got them both. So the Airedales, 12 for 15 from the free throw line. That's uh, very impressive. And they lead the ball game 37 to 20. Greenwood, just two wins coming in. But the last time they were here, they defeated Solemn Springs on this floor, 63-53. Here's a move inside, up and in for two. Impressive for two. 
Peyton Preston, really nice, strong move inside for two. 37 to 22, the Airedales by 15. Towns Robinson. Yeah, two assists in that last game, Izzy did. Here is Boggs up and in. Easton Boggs can hurt you with that three, but he can also use that size to get a bunch of rebounds and score for you inside as well. 39-22, here's a shot up and in, Greenwood. Presson, back-to-back buckets. Here is Miles Kendrick, missed it. And the rebound, Bulldogs coming back the other way. They trail it by 15. Here is Chick inside, up and in. So three straight buckets for Greenwood. They cut it to 13, 39 to 26. No quit in this team. Here is Easton Boggs for deep. It's good. Bingo! Easton Boggs from downtown, 42-26, Alma by 60. That's got to be demoralizing. You, you battle back, you get three straight buckets, and then Boggs pops one from about 22. Green one inside the air ball. Yeah, they saved it somehow. Shot clock at 17. They'll reset the offense. Three-point shots on the way. It's no good. A rebound for Towns Robinson. That home game coming up on Friday night, they might ought to just get on the bus, drive down to, maybe drive down to Workman's, get a little snack just to say, hey, we took a little road trip. Camden Kurt, a nice move inside, lays it up and in. 44-26 Alma. The Airedales extend that lead. Strong move from Camden Kerr. Greenwood puts it up and in. Peyton Preston, senior six foot two guard. Got himself 13 points here tonight. Kermani Smith outside of Camden Kerr shoots a three. It's in and out and back in. <laughs> they found a couple of that tonight. Well, the old saying goes 2005. We've seen that movie in this gym, have we not? We have. Now a 47 to 28. Scoreboard's got 48. Here's the drive inside, no good, but foul shots coming for the Bulldogs. Camden Curd picks up the foul and free throws coming for the Bulldogs. Free throws, no good. And he got one out of two. There, scores right, 47 to 29. I was about to text Leland Barkley here is covering the game for the Democrat Gazette. Easton Boggs, a little shimmy shake inside, no good. And the ball goes back over to Greenwood. It's 47-29, Alma by 18. Eddie Tate will check in for Easton Boggs. Bulldogs stole it away. Camden Kurds got their interception, if you will, and drives it back down court. A little well up to Eddie. Eddie puts it up no good, but he's fouled. And a couple more free throws for Alma. Alma is 12 out of 30, 15 from the charity stripe, and two more for Eddie Tate. Nice feed for uh, from Mr. Camden Kurd. Big Al here in the building tonight. Free throw is good. Got baseball season coming up. Yeah, that's right. Although this week and last week, you sure wouldn't be talking much baseball. Eddie Tate got both free throws. How about the Airedales? 14 for 17 from the line tonight. And that's 49-29, but it's a 20-point lead for Alma. Here's a drive for the Bulldogs. No good, a rebound, and going to be a jump ball. Nope, a foul called against Greenwood. And Eddie Tate gets credit for the rebound. 
Preston picks up his third foul to go with those 13 points, and the Airedales by 20 have it back. Four minutes left here in this third quarter. Miles Kendrick kicks it around. Kurt has got it. Camden stops, pops, missed it, and Greenwood rebound. This is Brendan Chick. And almost had a turnover. We did. Big long arms from Eddie Tate forces a turnover. Tyree McGill back in for the Airedales. Camden Curd will check out. He's got 11 points on the evening. with 3.20 left here in the third quarter. Izzy spins, turns around, puts it up, no good. And a loose ball foul called against Miles Kendrick. That's over the back. Greenwood's got it back. That's the third team foul here in this quarter against the Airedales. 3.19 to play on the clock. Alma kind of grinding its way toward its fifth consecutive conference win. This will be the sixth straight win overall to go to 12-8. Mentioned earlier, Alma won the last two games in conference last year. Here's a good, nice uh, move inside, but they missed the layup and the rebound to Alma. Alma beat Greenwood and Mountain Home to finish off the 2022-23 season. And a turnover. And a win tonight would be, uh, got a layup, Greenwood did. Now, this win tonight for the Airedales would uh, give them seven straight conference wins going back to last season. 49-31, Tyree McGill puts it up, and he's fouled. He'll shoot two. So Tyree McGill at the charity stripe will shoot the foul shots. First one's on the way, it's good. Tyrese had a nice night tonight. Seven points for Tyree McGill. Good balance for the Airedales all the way across the board. Fifty to thirty-one. You gotta share the basketball, gotta play defense, and you gotta care for each other. That's what this team's all about. Missed that one. So the Airedales. 15 for 19 from the charity stripe, but have a 19 point lead. All nearly tipped out of bounds. 2.15 to play in the third quarter. Hudson Boggs has checked in. Matthew Rogers is in for Alma. Eddie Tate, Chris Salazar, and Tyree McGill. So we got backups for the Airedales. Three point shot for Greenwood's good. Landon Robbins knocks down a three. And a timeout called by B.J. Ross. Full timeout. So let's take it with you. Now the leads it. 50 to 33. We'll be right back. In 1886, aluminum was developed. The first Coca-Cola was sold. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated. And Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to. And maybe that's true. But for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust. That's my bank for all of Crawford County. Well, it's been cold these last few weeks, but you know what? It's going to be warm this June. And, hey, we got the old 7-on-7 coming up in Alma. That's on Friday, June the 7th. And Brian Smith, he's already got 13 people committed to be there. A couple spots are left open. And, boy, look at this heavyweight of football teams coming to the 7-on-7 tournament. Goodness gracious. Alma, Bentonville, Bentonville West, Bryant, Elkins, Fayetteville, Northside, Southside, Green Forest, 
Greenwood, Harrison, Rogers Heritage, and the Cyclones, Russellville. How about that? That'll be the seven-on-seven -seven tournament, and I promise you, it will be nice and steamy on the old turf June the 7th. Alma leads it by 16 here. That three-point shot made it 33, 50 to 34. And a steal for Greenwood, so the Bulldogs making a little noise here, lay it up and in. Garns lays it up and in on the turnover, and the Bulldogs trail it by 14. Good feed down low to Eddie Tate. Eddie turns around, lays it up and in. Strong move from Mr. Eddie Tate. And the Airedales stop that run, a little bit of a run, and they lead the game 52-36. Three-point shot for Greenwood short, and the rebound is going to be out of bounds. Back to the Airedales. And that'll be fun, the seven-on-seven -seven tournament. And by the way, signing day is coming up here in a little bit, and... Um, We'll be watching that closely to figure out where our quarterback is going to play college football. Hudson Boggs kicks it outside. Jackson Daly had a great year for the Airedales this past uh, football season. He'll be making that commitment soon. Here's three-point shot for Alma. It's no good. The rebound, Tate. Puts it back up, no good. Got his own rebound again. Lays it up and cut the basket. So Eddie Tate, a couple of rebounds and puts it back in. And Eddie Tate, chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Two for two from the charity stripe here tonight. He's got four points, six points. This will make it seven. He can get it to drop in, and he does. Alma with that free throw in this game tonight, 16 for 21. That is a heck of an evening. 55-36, Alma by 19. Three-point shot for the Bulldogs, no good. The rebound, Tyree McGill. Long pass to Chris Salazar, lays it up and in. And going to have a foul. That's on Salazar. That's uh, He kind of was trying to get back on defense. Now they're going to talk about it. That's kind of an inadvertent contact, but he was trying to get back. That's probably going to be a foul. Let's see if the officials decide to call. I've not seen that. Yep, that's a foul. Either that or delay a game. Warning. Yep, delay a game. So the Airedales back on defense, up 21, 57-36. Seven points for Eddie Tate and seven for Tyree McGill. And the shot's no good, and the rebound, Alma. Here comes McGill on the run up. Tyree McGill had it knocked away. And that'll do it. So after three quarters of play, it's all Alma. Airedales lead at 57-36. Let's take time out. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition, efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs, on-site insurance filing and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair, quality first, always. Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas, making your family's dreams come true. Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media, and we are back from HB Stewart Arena. Fourth quarter is on its way. The Airedales have a commanding 57-36 advantage. And per the routine, 
Coach Dominic Lincoln will leave uh, his backups on the floor the first few minutes here, the final quarter of play, and Alma in cruise control by 21 points. Well, tipped away, Greenwood's got it back. Here's a shot that's up, no good, but a foul called, and a couple of free throws for the Bulldogs. That's the uh, first foul called against Matthew Rogers. Garns free throws no good and a rebound to Eddie Tate. And then Eddie Tate, oh, Air, well, almost, Airedale's almost threw it away. They hang on to it. One out of two for the Bulldogs, who trail it by 20. Matthew Rogers to Hudson Box for three. It's up. It's good. Hudson back to back threes here in this game tonight. Six points for Hudson. What a job by the bench. Alma by 23. Three-point shot for Greenwood, short, and a rebound to Chick with off his knee, and the Airedales have it back. That's a, that's a good uh, luxury to have when you bring the bench in and the lead just gets bigger. Hudson Box got six points. Tyree McGill's got seven points. Six points for Chris Salazar. Seven points for Eddie Tate. That's a lot of points off the bench. Salazar going to launch a three. It's good. Bingo. And Salazar got himself a night. Alma by a bunch. It is a 63-37 game. Here's a drive inside and a block. Greenwood got the rebound. Three-point shot for the Bulldogs up and good. L.J. Robinson. L.J. Robbins got it to drop in. It's 63-40. to 40. Now I'm about 23. Tyree spins, puts it up, and in. What a night for Tyree. McGill and the Airedales almost a steal for Matthew Rogers. Alma leads it by 25 points. Alma on its way for its fifth consecutive conference win and sixth consecutive win overall for the Airedales, and that's the first time in the Dominique Lincoln coaching era they've done that. He played that tough schedule, got them ready, no question about it, especially this year. Sylvan Hills, Jacksonville, Bryant, Matthew Rogers turns, spins, puts it up, no good. A rebound, Eddie Tate. Back to Rogers. Up and in, Matthew Rogers. Alma by 27. Lincoln trying to figure out who, what he's, who he's going to put back in. The, the, the backups just keep extending the lead. And Greenwood throws it away. So the Airedales are a three point shot away from running that clock. 5.09 to play in the game. That tough non-conference schedule. Got this team ready to go. The last loss for Alma was against it. I tell you, I'd like to see a replay on that. They lost over in the uh, Christmas holidays. Here's a move outside for the Airedales. And the Bulldogs get it back. Here's a layup for Greenwood, no good. The uh, putback is no good. And the rebound, Eddie Tate. And Eddie Tate lost it, mad scramble for it. The jump ball clock says Greenwood ball. Yeah, we had a little chippiness out there on the court. And the Airedales officials talking things over. A little bit chippy for a minute. We got a timeout. Going to get the sweat off the court here. So the Airedales (laughs) 
on their way to the uh, fifth consecutive win to start 5A West play, lead this game 67 to 40. And the jump ball is going to keep it, keep possession with Greenwood. So the Airedales again looking for their sixth consecutive win here tonight. Bulldogs have it. Going to be a reach-in foul called against Alma. First foul called against Salazar. Bulldogs have it. They trail it by 27 points and a steal for Matthew Rogers. Matthew goes all the way, lays it up, no good, but he'll shoot two foul shots. So Matthew Rogers, a chance to extend this lead to 29. 16 for 21 from the charity stripe for the Alma basketball team here tonight. Free throw is up and good. Yeah, looking at that schedule, the last loss the Airedales had, they lost by two at Sheridan, and that was the uh, the game where Kendrick took a deep, well, a half-court shot, a lot of contact, no foul. Could have had a foul called. Free throw is no good. Bulldogs have the rebound. 16 for 23 for the Airedales from the free throw line tonight. Here's a strong move inside, no good. And rebound, Eddie Tate. So the Airedales trying to, here's a lob inside to Eddie Tate. Goodness gracious, a lot of contact down there and some fouls, free throws coming for Tate. Officials are gonna talk this thing over. See if we get an intentional foul here called or not. Officials are going to gather. Eddie Tate went up, went up high and fell down hard. Three minutes and 55 seconds. It's all academic. Let's see what the officials are going to call. Just a common foul. Third foul called against Landon Robbins. And Eddie Tate, seven points at the charity stripe for two more. Miss that free throw and he'll get one more. So the Airedales on their way to their 12th victory tonight to be 5-0 in the 5A West. Eddie Tate's got seven points. He's got one more foul shot coming. It's up, and that one's good. Alma leads it by 28, 355 left. So the Alma starting five, basically tonight they will play about four minutes in the, in the second half. Here's a wild shot, no good, rebounded by the Airedales. Byron Standridge will check in. Next dead ball for the Airedales. Matthew Rogers puts it up and had it blocked. Greenwood's got it back. 68-40. And the Bulldogs lost a handle of it. Alma's got it. Going to have a jump ball or a timeout or something. It's going to stay with Greenwood. I don't think the dead ball, I think that's two in a row the Bulldogs have had on the, uh, the possession arrow, not that it matters. Jackson McMurray has checked in for the Airedales as well in the game for the first time. Three point shot for Greenwood's no good. Hudson Box has a rebound for the Airedales. Toby Allen 
also checks in for the Airedales first time. So the Airedales are going to win it. How sweet it is, baby. Alma's going to go to 5-0 and in the conference. Greenwood drives it in, lays it up and in for two, and a foul. But the Airedales are going to win this game to go to 5-0 and 12-8 and on the year. Allen picks up the foul. Just a really amazing job by the Alma bench here tonight. Foul shot is up and no good. And Alma looking around, it's going to be a travel. That was an attempted for the three-point play. They missed the free throw, but then Alma turned it over. 68-42, Bulldogs have it back. Here's a shot up and no good. And the rebound goes back to the Airedales. 247 left here in this game. Aide Fagan will check in for the Airedales as well. Hudson Box will check out. Six points for Hudson. So all backups for the Airedales. Jackson McMurray kicks it around. Here's a kick out outside. Here's Cade Fagan for three. Bingo! Got that baby to drop in. You betcha. Oh, you got to love that. 71-42 Alma by 29. Three-point shot for Greenwood's up. No good. And the rebound taken down by Byron Standridge. Alma's going to win this game. They're going to win it big. And they did not use their starters, but about four minutes in the second half. Rogers gets it down to Standridge. Byron up. No good. And the rebound, Greenwood. Under two minutes left here in the first or the uh, fourth quarter. This will be it. This will be four consecutive wins for the Airedales over the Bulldogs. And this will be 22 of the last 29 between these two teams. And we got a double dribble. Airedales have it back. Alma's got another backup checking in the game for the first time. Jackson McMurray lost the handle of it. And here come the Bulldogs on a run out. Shots up and in. Hudson Park with the hero. And Greenwood Bulldogs trail it by 27 with a minute. 12 to left here in the first or fourth quarter of play. Jackson McMurray on the baseline puts it up. No good. And the rebound, Greenwood. Alma's going to be 5-0 and in conference play. Here's a rebound for the Airedales. And they get it across midcourt. 50 seconds left here in this game. Alma throws it away. A little miscommunication there. Forty-five seconds left here in this game. 71-44, and Greenwood will lose it out of bounds. Back to the Airedales with 40.1 left to play, and they're headed for the exits at H.P. Stewart Arena. And Alma turns it back over. 33.1 left here in this game. Coach Dominic Lincoln and his staff got to be very happy, but again, a lot of work ahead. Man, oh man, oh man, you've got some huge games coming up. Big games on Friday night with Mountain Home. Greenwood gets another basket, 71-46. 15 seconds left to play, and then the big one next Tuesday night, but one game at a time. Next three games are all big. Mountain home, Van Buren, and Harrison, but let's get them one at a time, boys. That'll do it. Alma wins it tonight, 71-46. Dominant, dominant effort from the Airedales. 
Helmut goes to 5-0 in the 5A West. Great effort all the way around, especially off the bench. Helmut 71, Greenwood 46. This is Kevin Taylor for Airwaves Media saying so long from HB Stewart Arena. Good night, everybody.